We have with us Laura. Laura, uh, you've got a film. It's called Wower Woman. I'm not going to lie. I think this is probably like something that's going to. I, I I got a, a chat and it was like Wower Woman. I thought they were talking about something else. And I'm like, yeah, they really are Wow Women. But but it's kind of like a saying. I think you need to trademark it. You know what I mean? Oh, that that the idea did come up. So Wow Woman is obviously the inspiration is the power pose. Um, well, a woman is the story of, uh, of a young girl, a quirky young girl who is depressed. Uh, she's, uh, she's in a abusive relationship and, um, one day she, um, turns on her, her phone and this podcast comes up. This podcast is, um, led by this lady that's called Wendy Wauer and she's this quirky and eccentric lady podcast healer in a way. And she has her very unique way to empower people. She basically shreds people to pieces to then put them back together and puzzle them back to their better version of themselves. Um, while we're women, it, and she does that through this this pose that she declares being a wower pose, and she has a sort of a sort of like a boot camp podcast. Um, this uh, the, the the short is part of a trilogy that's called Tune In, and it's meant to be followed by other two chapters, which is the sequel of this lady who's called Amy and how she grows up into obviously Lee, I can't say actually what ha what happens, but in any case, there are three chapters of her life until she becomes an older woman. And as well, the child that she is bearing also becomes part of the trilogy. Um, yeah, that's essentially the, the, the story. And to um, the, it's not really a lead, but the lady that's called Wendy Wauer, the, the, it was so fun to, um, I think I lost you. Um, oh, I'm here. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, it was so on you. All right. <laughs> uh, she was so fun to rehearse with the actor that did the voiceover that I basically decided to do an entire spin-off of the life and of Wendy Wauer, how she became Wendy Wauer and the struggles of her life until she uh, she sort of reached this role of this wonderful healer. Um, this isn't intended as a short. This is intended as a movie. So I wrote. I I. I wrote a pitch. Hopefully, hopefully it it you know it, it has a way to 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 happen. Well, I okay. Can, can, can I say something? I'm going to bring it up really quick uh, because the way it's shot reminds me of something I used to like, um, and it was pushing daisies. I don't know if you ever saw that, and the no. style kind of reminds <laughs> me of that, and it's done in such a way where it's like it could be episodic in a way where it's like you have different women, right? A bunch of them, right? Like three, four or five or six. And each one is its own story of a woman kind of like hearing the broadcast for the very first time. You never see the woman, right? And then all of a sudden she changes her life. And then it like turns on a dime at the end, like almost like Twilight Zone-ish. You know what I mean? I mean, I might be going on a different tangent, but... No, but you said you'd said something that was in the intention. So the trilogy that I sort of just wrote out my intention, I wanted um, the life of this character, I wanted her to grow in the trilogy, but the truth is I wanted each lady to represent a, a face in life. So someone in the younger 25, then someone in their 40s, and then someone in their 80s. And I wanted yeah. this to be portrayed by different woman characters, just yeah. to say that we're all unified by same story. It's an empowering woman story. And it's also kind of proving some of the struggles that we go through, including sometimes abusive relationships. So it doesn't have to be, it's, it's under the umbrella of the idea of the growth of a woman, but this woman will change in each short it's just to just to prove that it has a universal language well and i think i think if i can add like a thought you know i, I don't take credit i don't do that <laughs> although some people do they're like give me a credit I, I i say this look even if you have like a woman okay we had a couple talk about this um but it's it's getting away from a guy who keeps coming back again and again and again right she could even be kind of like um maybe 30 or 40 right but she goes back to a guy she had a kid with, but the guy is maybe not abusive, but he talks to her like in a way where it's like, are you kidding me? But she doesn't find her voice. And then she hears all of a sudden the broadcast and it pops up magically on the device. Right. And she's like, what's that about? And, and she just says the right thing at the right time, almost like, Hey, you, uh, and we could pick a name out of the air, like Alice or Carolyn. You need to get away from that guy if you're ever going to like. Uh... And then it goes to like a thought that she had when she was a kid. And then all of a sudden it goes like, but is that the life you're living? And then it goes like, 
you know, and then the guy comes in and she goes, uh, uh, she struggles to turn it off, but he's like, oh, turn that off, you know, this and that. So she secretly goes into like the, I, I don't know, into her bedroom or kind of like she puts it back on like quietly and then she puts it on and then, and then the, the you know, because it's a podcast, right? You could like continue. It's, a, it's an addictive podcast. You think yeah. it's, it's Wendy is present. It almost feels like she's next to you, like this one of these like torturous boot camps that you would do from a yeah. sport wise. And you feel that she's always guessing where you are in time and space. Uh, and she's the, it's just this crazy pasta, and it comes in many forms. It could be on your phone, it, she could be playing in the in the sort of TV in the background. She's everywhere. And once 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 Wendy has you under her wing, she will not let you go. She would eat live squid and jump off a bridge in order to just make you heal and be a better version of yourself that's how crazy wendy is yeah and it's like every podcast happens to be tailored for that woman okay stage one do this stage two do this stage three do this stage four is he trying to come back into your life stage five do this and then like everything happens she goes oh it's like a prophecy you know what i mean and it's just like and then at the end of it she finds a love it's another guy and that guy is like ripped you know he's got like abs of steel and then she's like oh you know and then she she you know i don't know what you would do at the end but i think it's something that you could kind of have fun with and you could get to some people and they could be like you know what i identify with this because I kid you not. I talk to women that go back to exes and I go, why do you go back? They like were the worst guy you ever talked about. They didn't support you. They took away like money from you because, you know, they said, oh, it's my business, not yours, even though they weren't in a like, you know, there's a lot of partners that aren't in marriages. But then they have kids like I know one that had three kids and he said, oh, that's my business. And it was like a lot of money, like $300,000 like a, a, a year, you know, is what he made. But he said, Th that is yours and this is mine, even though she helped him with it. And and men are taking advantage of women like that. I have one where she like married a guy, he's an attorney, but he's not going to give her any money at the rate that, you know, like the divorce is like, I'm like, you're entitled to 50. But so there's so many women that are like press and it's almost like they're like, Kind of accepting that, and I think this Wower woman kind of yeah, pushed. Yeah, they need they need a Wendy Wower in their life. <laughs> everyone Kingo, needs, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, everyone I love needs that. a Wendy Wower in their life. <laughs> I, I would love that. I would love it to become where Wendy Wower becomes for real, something that can be followed on the socials, and it really because I actually I was speaking to the actor, and I it never it never actually happened right now, at least not for now. I actually was speaking to him like, why don't we make Wendy Wower a real thing? And it's this it's this logo, this this thing that we listen to and then you just create some social buzz i don't know why I, I really you want never see her face. To you never well, see no, face. Wendy, she's no, like Wendy. an angel she's like an angel that drops in at the <laughs> moment you need it you know what i mean right she does have a face though but but the face only comes in in the what i would love for the spin-off the movie of her would be great because it, she's what well, i would I, I basically wrote it for a competition that I that I had a deadline for, and I wrote it in two hours because the idea was so complete, and Wendy Wow was so easy to write, <laughs> and I just wrote I wrote the pitch. Hopefully, All right. well, I, I I think it has a life. Watch Pushing Daisies. You understand what I'm saying oh, when really? I yeah yeah, and then it's like a magical thing that happens again. The they did they didn't do more more uh, seasons of that. I wish they had. But I talked to people after and I go, what happened? They go network. It was a network like they pulled the plug, but it had so much life in it. And this has that vibrancy that goes like even like I can see it like from England and, and then Australia and then like a woman like in Mexico and and then Latin America and then one in Canada. And you like bounce all over the world. And all of a sudden the podcast is just the thing that you need at the right time, you know, exactly. and you're kind of in a way. <laughs> This is why guys hate it, but I say whatever. Don't be a, <laughs> that guy to cheat on her and you know treat her like nothing. Um, it's kind of like in a way it gets to the people where, when you watch it, you go, huh, and it gets somebody to think, "Am I living that life?" And you'd be surprised how many are living kind of the same life. Yeah. So it, it is on the comedy tone, but of course, it's actually speaking to something that's out there that is not so so pleasant and experiences that I've also sort of spoken to people um and their relationships it's not it's not a it's not a beautiful thing it's not a beautiful world in that sense so this is taking obviously a comedy note to it but the idea is was to empower women and make yeah, find so your strength, Wendy your Wauer, strength. yeah. And, and, and then and then and then uh what i say hit them in the head with reasonability and common sense but some people just don't have it i don't know why mm -hmm. laura thank you for spending time with oh, us thank here you.
and La Femme. And again, thank you for contributing all of what you got there. It's right there. You can check it out. It's called Wower Woman. And I'm not going to lie. I, I'm, I'm glad we were able to put this in because uh, I, I know yesterday you were kind of busy and you didn't get to join us. But uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a theater production and I completely missed it. So. No, it's okay. <laughs> but I'm so sorry. Well, I'm glad we fit you in. And thanks to Adam behind the scenes who said, hey, we got to fit her in. So great job, Adam. Great job, team. Thank and you so honestly, much. You're the last of our, our two day. Like I, I, I've run a marathon. I don't think I've done that many hours. I have a show. It's not a po- well. It could be a podcast. Actually, it is a podcast. <laughs> I've never talked this much. So again, thank you, Laura, for thank bringing so our woman to everyone. Because sometimes it takes a woman to get to the heart of the truth. <laughs> you know. 